Can you say Sawadi Kap? This river is high. Goodness me, it's high. This is madness. It's first is banks. This is a little bit disconcerting. Now I've seen the river here, I am concerned about our land. Hello. Can you say Sawadi Kap? Sawadi Kap. She's not talking. She does, she insults to me. Beautiful blue skies, not a rain cloud in sight which is a little bit of a relief because further south from us in Concairn, they've had very, very bad flooding. It's glorious today, it's an absolutely stunning day. Anyway, I'm gonna head to Udon Thani for a few hours. Need to drop Anna's daughter, Fai, off at the airport. And it is my birthday, so I might treat myself to a McDonald's lunch and uh, I'm pretty sure Anna will buy me a nice bottle of red wine. Nice bottle of Malbec from Argentina, that's what I want. Day treat. Yearly McDonald's, yearly bottle of red wine. So this river is high. My goodness me, it's high. Let me get out and show you this. This is madness. Thanks. This is a little bit disconcerting. Let's go and see if this lady's got any fish. 
สวัสดีครับบลาไหมโอ้ยนุ่งนุ่งเล็กนุ่งเล็กบลาโอ้ยกองน้ำน้ำยึบครับเออเออโอเคสวัสดีครับ Just because the water's so high at this point in the river, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's this high on the stretch of river that runs past our farm, because it's a good 10 minutes drive down the river until we get to our farm. This is extremely full. This is a high river. Now I've seen the river here. I am concerned about our land. This is the front of our land. <laughs> It's extremely close. <sighs> But because we've not had rain, it's not really an issue. The canal is still holding all that water, as is that small pond at the back there, and the big one, obviously. But it's not flooded anymore. As you can see, it's a gorgeous day today. Absolutely blazing hot, blue skies. Definitely no rain today. The sun is very, very bright. So we're really happy with this. We've had some shelves put in the cupboards as well, make life a little bit easier. Okay, money. I'm keeping cool, darling. It's hot today, isn't it? Hey, eh? hot, isn't it? There's a link to the builder's Facebook business page in the description of every video, and. I'm still at the point where I would recommend him. I genuinely would, and you know, there's no affiliation there. There's not like I get a commission if you get some work off somebody I've recommended. It's nothing like that. Um, it's just that you have to weigh up certain things, don't you, in, in in any situation in life. And if I was basing this build purely on time management, I would not recommend him. I really wouldn't. I would have stopped recommending him nine months ago. <laughs> But as is everything in life, there is a balance, and I'm not just basing this build on time management. How quickly can get the bastard built? I'm also basing it on build quality and professionalism and value for money, and all those boxes are ticked as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we've had some issue with the professionalism of some of the tradesmen that he's had in working for him, but at the end of the day, the job has been done to what I consider to be an extremely high standard. Not just for Thailand, I think for anywhere. If I had this house built in the UK, I'd be over the moon with it. Everything is calm and serene again here. There's no sound of rushing water off that mountain. It's just nice and peaceful. This is how we want it, really, just like this. Ponds full up, rice holding a decent amount of water. This pond is still higher than it should be, but 
it's okay, it's not a problem now. Because a few days ago, I was up to here in water, so it's gone down maybe a meter since then. So Anna's only little anyways. Anna, how tall are you? About five foot three. So this sweet corn is almost at Anna's height. So this is the fabled drainage pipe for the plunge pool. It was a nightmare trying to find the end of this pipe. Anyway, we needed a digger to find it in the end. Perfect. There we go. But at least now we're able to hold the water in the plunge pool with this.